Okay, uh, we've got some sharp edges here and we're, we're going to address all those sharp edges using tape. Uh, now you don't want to take masking tape and apply it directly to any painted surface. So what we do is we take the tape, run it across your jeans, or your pants, whatever, and um, you know, get a little bit of lint on there so it's not real sticky. And then depending on which way you're buffing, you want to put about an eighth of an inch over the top of the line. Um, obviously we're going to be buffing the hood, so let it drag down here on the fender. And just apply it all over to all the sharp lines wherever you're at. So every sharp line is covered with tape. We're going to do the same thing here on the hood, on each side of the hood, and on each side of this. Now it sounds like that's a lot of work, but again, if you burned one of these edges, if you went through either with the sandpaper or with the buffer, you've ruined this paint job. And this, this paint job, if you were to try to repair it, would not be the same as the, um, you know, uh, the surface that we've got right now, which is a vintage Ferrari that's never been repaired. And, and you want to, you absolutely positively want to maintain that uh, um, paint structure when you're, when you're doing this. All right, we've taken our sandpaper, 3,000 grit sandpaper, soak it, completely soak this uh, paper in uh, water uh, till it's, you know, wringing wet. And we're going to jump on to color sanding a very old, rare Ferrari. <laughs> so be careful. This, again, is a, a, a professionals only. You don't want to jump into... Uh, you know, learning how to use a buffer or color sanding on a car like this. Um, get some experience on your wife's car, mother-in-law's car, somebody like that. But don't get experience on a Ferrari, okay? Anybody else's car. Don't, just don't do it on a Ferrari. Um, soaking wet paper. We're not using a block. You're using your hand. Um, press firmly but uh, evenly across the surface. You don't want to finger sand uh, this. You, you will get finger marks. And you don't want to really disturb the um, natural uh, uh, surface either, the, the orange peel or um, the sprayed uh, surface. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna disturb that by making some too smooth and, and then some uh, looking like uh, it's been repaired. Um, so just go over the surface. I'm not pressing hard. I'm pressing firmly, but I'm, I'm not pressing hard. It's only to remove the oxidation don't want to do this in a circle um, and the only reason why you want to stay in some kind of a, a straight line fashion either going this way or going this way so obviously in here I'm, I'm gonna to have to go in a, a different direction than than what I'm doing here but if I go in a circle I'm not going to be able to differentiate when I when I hit it with a wool pad so stay in a straight line so when you get to the wool pad you'll be able to see your straight line scratches and remove those straight line scratches we're going to do this on the whole entire hood, all the nooks and crannies. Um, again, we've, our edges are taped, and we're going to have to come back and reverse mask all of this taping so that we can get as close as possible to those edges. This color, there's a big difference here um, on this side to this side because of the oxidation that's happened on the top side surfaces. Not because this car's been mistreated, but just because it's seen a lot more um, UV light than the sides have seen. And you can actually see a difference. So what we want to do, and we are going to color sand the sides, is what we want to do is we want to enhance, uh, and it will happen naturally, we'll get down into the, the fresh paint that's underneath here, underneath this oxidation, and we'll be able to bring up the richness of this original color. So we finished uh, the whole color sanding process. Everything is dull, 3,000 grit scratch all over the hood. Everything is done in a straight line. And now um, I've taken off the tape on the other scoop and I want to show you how to take off this uh, tape here. Um, always, never peel the tape up because you want as little tension on the surface as possible. So when you peel, uh, again, this car's never been repainted, but we don't know if there's an adhesion problem. So peel like this, leading the tape all the way around the surface and do it slow. No reason to, you know, jerk the tape and pull hard here. You're, you're on all these sharp edges.
all the way around. Okay. So we've got all the tape off the center of the hood. We'll come back and retape these edges um, when we get ready to buff, which we're going to start now using a wool pad. Um, but I just wanted to show you how nice and clean everything is. Um, we'll address all the inside edges of the scoop where I didn't sand quite good enough um, and just get that all sanded completely so that all of our sanding uh, procedures are done and um, we'll move into rotary buffing with a wool pad and the ceramics uh, uh, polish.